Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clark, please call the roll. Be present. Oh, here. <laughs> Trustee Cascarella. Present. Trustee Brewer. Present. Trustee Bowen. Here. Treasurer Fidoa. Here. Clerk Clark is here. Supervisor Fletcher. Here. Your quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We have the agenda before us. Any additions or deletions? If not, a motion to approve. So moved. Support. We've been moved and supported. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Motion carries. I'd like to open the public hearing on the 20 fiscal year 2024 budget. Anybody in the audience this evening here to speak on the budget? Seeing no one speaking on the budget, I'll pose the public hearing. Dennis, would you like to make a motion? Uh, yeah. Let me get my bearings here. Don't have to. We don't want to. Appreciate it. I move the. Uh, how do we adopt the uh, fiscal year, the twenty twenty four budget? Is there support? Support. There is support. Any discussion? Yes. No, sorry, I was oh. saying to Mary, I was the second. Remember have anything they want to say? Okay. <laughs> Please call the roll. Treasurer Fidawa? Yes. Rusty Bowen? Yes. Rusty Brewer? Yes. Rusty Cascarella? Yes. Rusty Mojica? Yes. For Clark, <laughs> yes. Supervisor Fletcher? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Madam Clerk. You have uh, two items of communication in your packet, updates on projects that are going on. Public comments? Anybody here in the audience speak on public comments? And nobody coming forward? We will now move to the consent agenda. What's the pleasure of the board on the consent agenda this evening? I want to uh, approve the consent agenda as presented. Is there support? Support. There is support. <laughs> Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll on approving the consent agenda? Trustee Mojica? Yes. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Trustee Casparella? Yes. Trustee Bowen? Yes. Fraser Fidoa? Yes. For Clark is yes. Supervisor Fletcher? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Move to items of business. We have item number nine, a special request for a land use permit for the drive through at Chicken. At crack chicken. What's the pleasure of the board on that one? Andrew? Uh, I move uh, that the Delta Township Board approve the special land use permit requested for a drive through restaurant at 4901 West Saginaw Highway, as described in case number 08 23 11, for the following reasons, of which there are four or two. Um, in the packet, and then the recommendation of approval being subject on the uh, four provisions in our packet. Is there support? Support. There is support. Any discussion? You know, all those in favor, please say aye. Uh, aye. All those opposed say nay. Motion carries. I have number 10, the BSNA cloud upgrade, and the technology department recommends that we accept the proposal for $167,705. Would anybody like to hear from Dave, or are you ready to make a motion? I have a question for Dave. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. All right. Hey, Dave. <laughs> Hello. Um, 167705 Just a couple dollars. Pardon? Mm -hmm. Just a couple dollars. <laughs> no, I mean, how, how does that compare to what our annual costs are? Uh, well, 167 is to do the upgrade. So that wouldn't be like similar to our annual costs, and our annual costs currently are between forty and fifty thousand with BSNA. Okay. So then, so after the upgrade, we will have new annual costs do to maintain what, the software. Do we know what that is? Yep, it's right around one hundred thousand. Okay, so this then it would be the upgrade of one hundred sixty-seven plus another hundred thousand. That would be ongoing. After Correct. That. The hundred thousand will be ongoing, and that'll be after a year after we implement our right. Right. Um, is is the uh, is the upgrade? Um, are we going to get charged for additional upgrades thereafter, or uh, is that built in? No. So that's our maintenance. We'll handle all of our software upgrades and whatnot uh, once we're in the cloud. So 
thereafter. Yep, thereafter. Yep. So I, I don't imagine you know we would move from the cloud to something else. I, I mean, who knows? They, they, you know, there's this is the third version of BS today since I've been around. It was pervasive, then .NET, and now to the cloud. You know, so what's, well, there'll always be a new security yeah, technology is, is in the future. You know. So uh, I was just wondering if yeah, they're going to tap us for any enhancements, you know, down mm -hmm. the line that isn't part of our ongoing sure no i don't know any of uh any planned modules that i'm like really excited about to say hey i can't wait to you know in five years when they're going to have xyz module to upgrade to but as far as what we normally currently do um that will all be incredible. but nothing on the near horizon that you can see no sir all right very good yeah. thank you thank you dave you're welcome any other questions maybe, maybe if you can just <clears throat> just talk about a couple of things that this will do or allow us to do and are sure. so, helpful. Uh, well, the two biggest things with it is accessibility. We can access our BSNA application very easily anywhere in the world. So, you know, what using cloud applications are all about. Yeah. So, you know, an event, uh, someone's homesick or needs to access some stuff or we're on vacation and need to access some stuff or COVID 37 hits and we all get oh, set home and have to still continue to do government function is much easier to do it in this cloud environment than, you know, what we, uh, you know, having it reside in the basement now that, and then security wise, you know, this, the, the cloud infrastructure is built on Microsoft's Azure's, uh, data center, very, uh, very secure data center, very uh, ransomware resilient, you know, that's the big buzzword around. So, you know, those two things are right there alone is going to be awesome. It'll be great when we come go to uh, upgrading people's computers, you know, so right now we're kind of Windows dependent and uh, you got to kind of have a beefy computer to run some um, aspects of BSNA. Now it's just browser based. So right down to your smartphone. Um, so we can get into much cheaper alternatives for you know, hardware to put people out in the field with and, and hopefully equip some of our inspectors, both fire and, uh, you know, building inspectors out there with, you know, all that data right there at their fingertips. So instead of having a bulky laptop that we kind of secure in some of the trucks and bounce around, you know, it'd be nice to give them a tablet and not spend as much money on those. So those are the highlights. We can get really nerdy if you want. But. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, would anybody like to make a motion? Thank you. Thank you. Supervisor, I move that the township board accept the proposal from the BSNA software for the purchase of software and services for BSNA cloud upgrade for $167,705 and instruct township manager Brian Reed to execute the attached proposal. Is there support? Support. support. There is support. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Manager's report, Brian. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor and board members. Um, a couple things um, you may have read in the manager's minute, but uh, to get more in depth on uh, with the sheriff substation, we did open bids. Um, had had very good news came in under uh, what we had um, anticipated. So this Thursday, we'll be selling, um, putting the bonds out for sale. Uh, we're looking at selling about $14.6 instead of the 16 that we uh, the board had authorized up to. Um, so that will be uh, a, a very good thing for um, the project and our taxpayers and the resulting bond millage rate. Um, so the... Um, Chrisman is still reviewing the bids. We'll have those prepared uh, for board approval um, on November 6th. Um, the case credit union, a temporary facility is just about complete. So we'll be looking at moving deputies within the next two weeks or so. Um, after that, there'll be a few weeks of asbestos um, removal and then uh, move into demolition. So we'll be starting the, the project in earnest. Um, Thanks to uh, Dave and uh, especially our utilities department uh, installed a camera up on top of our roof. So we have a, have a bird's eye view. Of, uh, we'll have a bird's eye view of the construction, much like we do at the Wharf plant. So that's real helpful um, during construction, but also will be nice for marketing and having uh, time lapse photography and all that stuff. So kind of a, a cool piece of the project that makes it fun. Um, 
we submitted our final cost for the storm cleanup so that the entire storm cleanup, we submitted about $130,000 worth of costs of which the, the majority of that was the debris um, cleanup. Um, so I think that went, went really well. Um, we'll see if we do get any reimbursement uh, either from the state or from FEMA on that. Uh, I know those have been submitted as part of a, a regional request um, just a reminder, a couple things coming up, uh, community awards, November 2nd, several of us will be at the Michigan Municipal League, uh, this week. Um, we had a couple events last week, the fire open house, which, uh, went really well as always, uh, very well planned and, uh, our trick or treat trail, which uh, always has a huge, uh, huge lineup, uh, of kids. Uh, even though it had to be moved today because of the weather, um, still had a great turnout of the businesses, sponsors, and uh, and kids. So a lot of fun. So that's all I have tonight. But happy to answer any questions. Folks, have any questions for Brian? Thank you. Hey, thanks, Brian. Do you have any closing comments? I do just want to thank everybody for the beautiful flowers that you guys sent for my brother's funeral. It was very much appreciated. Final public comment. Seeing none. Seeing no further business before us. We are here. That seems louder today. I don't know. Okay. <laughs>